Um, better start than last time. I'm not gonna lie. Well, no, it wasn't. I had a really good start last time, but this isn't bad. Getting a weapon on sale and getting a banana on sale isn't bad. Garlic on sale. Stone. I see a shiny shell as well. What am I building? I'm just trying to do the mana bomb again. That's that's about it. See uh, if we can use some of the newer beta items to benefit from it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna pick this up in hopes of getting us wooden sword. In hopes of getting a wooden sword. And then I can give you a shell totem. Not having two weapons at the start of the game sucks, but neither does he, but it also has poison. <laughs> that sucks for us. Oh my god, we barely won. That shield hurt. So far, so decent, actually. Not bad. Not bad. Two, re two healing herbs. Not bad. Got a health potion here. I think we win this one. Try to get ourselves a shell totem. Already got two stones. Bag of stones coming up. Yeah, we win this one for sure. Yeah, that's a good one. Do I like the new items? They're decent. They're not horrible. <laughs> to be honest, they're not horrible. I feel like they're a little niche, but like, I don't know if I would prefer it not niche. You know what I mean? I don't know. I think they're pretty solid though, for sure. For shizzle. What about you? How do you like the new, uh, the new items? This guy's got a similar, nah, he doesn't have a similar build. I was about to lie. He's got a freaking Tuscan poker, but I have an infinite empower maker. All I need now is a bag of stones and I'm good. Then again, he has infinite spikes though, so yeah. <laughs> we kind of did have similar builds. Both fat health potions. Should I do the piggy? Or super spacious? I'll do piggy. Hey. I did miss out on like one piggy though earlier, but it's fine. Okay, I'll take this. Looking for a bag of stones, honestly. Take both of those. I would love to see a bag of stones. There we go. That makes more sense. My brain was not cooking for a second. Oof, an axe and a shovel. He's also got stone. Stone with three stones. He's definitely going for a stone golem. 100%. Good luck, my friend. Berserker mode will dictate if I win this or not. Ooh, we survived Berserker mode. Let's go. Good game. Another piggy is nice. We got enough money. I'm gonna pick up one more healing herb. I think that's gonna be it for all the healing herbs. Uh, an on cell shield in round five. Nah, I'll pass. Yeah, I'll pass, I'll pass. Ooh, that's a good combo. That's a pretty good combo. They don't have any survivability, but they got DPS. Makes me scared. Yeah, their DPS is just way better. Claws of attack, thorn, and the hero sword, DPS is way better. It's a solid shop though. Okay, upgrade to life, I'll take. Maybe I should just say the, uh, I'm gonna take both of these actually. I think both of these will be a little bit better. Just rock this combo, get that next round for some space. Hopefully my piggy panata can proc. Damn. I will upgrade all those, honestly. If it was me, I'd upgrade every single last one of those potions. These healing herbs. Every single last one of them. New items have added a variety of builds to the game. It would be great to have seasonal items, just like you mentioned the other day. Yeah, seasonal items would be phenomenal. I think it would be a great addition to the game. I don't know. I feel like... I, I don't feel like the new items added any type of like new builds to the game. They kind of just made existing builds better, in my opinion. That's how I see it, at least. I think all the all of the builds that we already had in the game just kind of got better. Five. 
Should I get this this round or no? Nah, I'm not. I think I'm just gonna get this upgrade instead. I'm thinking about getting this healing herb. I don't think I'm gonna need it though. Yeah, I think I'm gonna pass on the healing herb. Yeah. I actually feel like they reduced the amount of viable builds. I don't know, you used the keyword viable. <laughs> I don't know. The keyword viable is throwing me off. <laughs> I'm like, are those builds viable? I don't know. Seven empowerment, bro. Yeah, we lost. This is freaking cheese, man. This is the cheese. The cheese. Ding. Groove keeper, please. Sword, please. Amulets? Nah. Bag of stones, yes. Space or combobulator. Let's see. Can we make a build with just what we have? Or will we be forced to buy some additional space? Nice. Well, I can't really put recombobulator anywhere though, to be fair. Well, I guess I can get rid of this stone. Input recombobulator somewhere. Get this next round. And that kind of just works. Oh man. Glowing, bro. We lost. <laughs> we lost. Man, it feels like we're like three rounds behind that guy. Rem Orby? Anna Amulet of the Wild? Um, sure. I'll take both of those. All right. How are we going to set this up? I guess I'll move you here. It's really the only thing that benefits. I don't know. Is Piggy even worth it, bro? Like, what is this 20% chance? It doesn't feel like it's 20%. It feels like it's like 10 or something. The guy hasn't procked in like four rounds or something. The difference is between a build that has synergy with abilities against one that doesn't is too big. What does that mean? How am I getting maximum health? Wait, what? Oh, because of the mana potions. I am ripping. Stone don't sell? I don't... Well, I mean, I do have stones. Like a banana build with eggs or moon armor with the power of the moon. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is true. It did open new builds. Now that you say that, yeah. That's pretty valid, actually. I don't know which one of these to get. I feel like this will help me now. But it won't really help me later. I think I'm gonna get Acorn Ace. a stamina reduction. I don't know. I'd like it to be nice. Might not have been a bad choice because we already got an acorn as well, so that's good. Blood Harvester would be crazy. I'm gonna get this Blood Harvester. Hopefully we can manage to survive this stuff. I don't think we need these garlics anymore. I just need some space. Maybe I don't even sell them. Nah, if I do though... Maybe not. Well, bro, I need Piggy Panada to proc, like, for real. Piggy Panada needs to proc as soon as humanly possible. Honestly, I could just do this. That kind of works. This can be here. You can be here. Oh, I forgot I could do that the entire time. Okay, so my sword should use less stamina, which is good. So 1.2. We don't need this banana. Cause I can sell this, but I can sell all my food and get this now. I get so much more vampirism. And it only uses up a point one a second. And then we got this using up less stamina. 
I get more acorn collars, that's even less stamina. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Damn it, that was one off. Crap. Um, sure, I'll sell one clover. Even though I don't want to, I'll sell one clover. All right, let's, let's rearrange. All right, so I know you need to hit this prismatic orb. Situation. Cause that's important. And you also need to hit this hungry blade situation. Cause that is also important. And that's really the only things that's important for real. Um, need to measure out this bag of stone situation as well. Bag of stones can honestly just sit here. And that way, acorn. Aren't you supposed to be bigger? What's going on here? There we go. <laughs> okay, there we go. So, honestly, we just like, that's a good location. It's inside of here. Affects everything. Less stamina for everything. This is good. You can go right here. So that all gets affected. What's else important? I guess the mana might be... Well, I don't know. Getting a bunch of mana doesn't really matter. It's not like we have a mana orb for proccing or anything. Um, the only thing I guess matters is this blue bear for clovers, but... Whatever. TBH. So... I'ma put you up here, I think. no apparent reason but yeah you're gonna go up there you can go down here and then we'll just do this and then the rest of the uh items can go inside of here so i should get double the amount of vamp which is great and yeah we're really hoping to get another hungry blade sometime soon here Oh man, not a hardwood. Not this guy. Anything but this guy. Holy shit, never mind. We killed him. With 20 vampirism. Let's go. And we got ourselves our first mana orb. That's great. I guess we'll pick this up just for space, because we're gonna need it. We're definitely gonna need some space. And we might as well pick this up for space too. The question is, should we get this animal? I can get this, that two turns into a four, but not to mention prismatic orb. So it'll be, I'll buy that and I'll get like a free six vampirism. Might not be too shitty, I guess. But I don't think I turned into a mana orb yet because we're really benefiting from that vampirism. Which is great. But I do put it on deck. we could get a benefit from it proccing if it ever procs that would be great notice how uh these piggies still haven't popped by the way it's a 20 percent chance by the way feels like a 10 percent chance truthfully another bb I'll keep it like this. Ooh, busted blade. Ouch. Those health potions procking are saving our lives right now, putting it at, putting us back at maximum health, honestly. The berserker mode is a thing and we die. Damn, I really kind of just need another hungry blade. I don't even want to like buy this for real these louise jeez louise i'm never picking up piggy pinata again i'm sorry i just can't <laughs> i'm never picking it up again it's like why have you not proc What's going on?
I'm gonna move this. Probably that frees up a little bit more spots on the vine wood. It's 20%, but it's really 40 because I get two pigs. Both pigs have a 20%. It's been like five rounds. It's been so many rounds. Why have it? Why has it not proc? It should have been proc, bro. It should have been proc. Where's my economy? I spent five gold for nothing. That was a good game. Proc, bro. I'll buy it. Please give me the hungry blade. Honestly, getting this lightsaber wouldn't even be horrible. It really wouldn't. It really wouldn't be horrible. I'm gonna get it. It's on sale. Not a bad choice, but I am getting rid of you. Another acorn collar is pretty good considering the buffs we get from it. If that's the case, I should just get rid of bag of souls because I don't have empowerment. No stamina though. I got the acorns reducing reducing stam. So we're at a 1.5, but reducing stam by 10% per is very nice. Very nice. So the weapons use 20% less stamina now. Another piggy. Shit, I have to get every pig I see because I have piggy panada. No way I don't. Ooh, he has got stone. He's got stone. Lightsaber does use up my regeneration though, which means less regeneration for my uh, arguably, which is pretty unfortunate. I think we're fine. Uh, other than those things procking. I think we're fine. GG's. Still no proc, by the way. Freaking, bro. Uh, how many do we have? We need 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9, 10, 11. I guess 12. I don't want to buy that. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. I'm not, you know what, bro? I need another lightsaber. I'm gonna get this, but I need me another lightsaber. I have three of you. That is absurd. I could move you back one, actually. Um, how does one do this? Oh, wait. There we go. That works. No lucky pigs. Just boring pigs. Do I even need you, bro? You're kind of like not even doing anything for real. Oh man. There we go. Alright, cool. Why you pigs don't explode? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it's a bug. Maybe that's what we're gonna blame it on today. It's just being a bug a bug. Is it gonna explode? Still not exploding, by the way. Still not exploding. Maybe I have to like click it. Maybe I have to click it like this. Because I noticed when I put everything inside of my backpack and I put the acorns in, they're not affected, right? But then when I put this back in, well, last time the acorn still wasn't affected unless I like tap this again to make it affected. So maybe I have to like tap it or something. Yeah, you see how this isn't affected? Even though this one is, but this one isn't. So maybe like there's a bug. Where it's like, you have to click this while it's in your backpack for the effect to actually, like, take place. Wait, what the f- Wait, what? 
One, two, three, four, five. Nah, this was smaller, was it? Oh, because I was at the edge. I'm tripping. But yeah, maybe that's what it is. Maybe you have to, like, just make sure you keep clicking these while they're in your backpack or something. Anyways, I'm selling this now because I have this Hungry Blade. And the Hungry Blade kind of takes priority. That's what it kind of does. Kind of does. Honestly, I might reset. I'm thinking this is a like reset my backpack type of reset. That's what it's looking like. But I honestly think that I like, I think that's the reason why they're not proccing. That's the only thing I could think of at least. I've never done this with a blood, blood harvester before. Kind of a cool new experience. Um, okay, let's see. Doesn't get affected. Now it's affected. Now this one's not. But if I take this off and I put it back, it's affected. Interesting. If I do this. Put this on, not affect it, put this on, affect it, put this on, not affect it. Interesting. So maybe I have to do that with the piggies as well, like, you know, like depending on how it's placed. Because you can't really see the stars on a piggy. Well, you can, but you know, you guys know what I mean. Or maybe it's not affecting the pigs unless you like click this, something right. So like, if there's a piggy, like this is a pig, pig's not affected. Boom. Now that pig's affected, but if I place another pig down, it's not affected. Unless I click this a bunch of times. Maybe that's how it works. Because it's a bug or something. I'm just gonna blame it on a bug. And yeah. This kind of eats up some of my star slots a little bit. I mean, unless I move it down by one. Kinda. I need more prismatic orbs realistically. That's kind of what I need right now. For that one little star. Maybe it'll be fine though. I don't know what to do with this fanny pack, so we're just going to put it over here. Just so it's somewhat in use. best I could do. Well, technically, no, it's not. I think I could do this. That's four, and this would be four. Nice. Okay. Um, I suppose the rest of this doesn't matter. Besides the healing, got my freaking... Besides... Yeah, besides the healing that that guy's eating up, I guess we could, uh, replace you? That leaves up a little bit more slots. See, now this isn't affected anymore. That's why. Okay, I'm just gonna make sure, click everything, make sure. Just in case. Never know. Crap. Uh. Sure. Not want to combine i want these pigs to pop i mean only got three rounds left granted but i still want them to pop all right so i'm gonna click the piggies maybe they don't pop if they're locked i wonder if that's like actually a thing maybe the piggies don't pocket their prop pop if they're locked all right piggy click piggy click Piggy item click. Alright. That was me telling the game to do what I wanted to do. Oh. I think we both had bombs. Or something. 
kind of do both have bombs. He's, he's got three prismatic orbs though, and I kind of don't. Damn, I hit him for, for so much. Wow. I have 40 vampirism. He kind of just don't. All right, let's see the piggy. There we go. Now the piggies are popping. I think that's a thing. Feels like it's a thing. I don't need this. I might regret this. I don't know yet. I'm like doing this situation. Not sure, because the more mana we have, the better, right? But then again, I do have that guy. That I could just turn it to one of those. It's not horrible. I don't really need another one. I need more, uh... I need more mana thirst, if anything. I don't need more acorn collars. I've been muted this entire time. Oh my god. I've been muted this entire time. I'm sad. <sighs> but yeah, I think you do need something that uses up mana. The idea, I believe, is to proc these mana orbs at the start by, you know, using your uh, mana gain at the pr from the prismatic orbs along with uh, the mega clover proccing and your mana gain from the Mega Clovers to get up to that 35. This Insta procs, procking all your potions and making your mana thirst go crazy. That's the idea anyways. I'm about to sell this hat. I kind of want to get this blood amulet. I'm just going to sell these clothes. Like, I don't I don't need these healing herbs anymore. We, we don't even have 15 here. Unfortunately, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. We have 13. So we have to take up two spaces of something. Maybe we just sell a pig. I'm just going to sell a pig to get two spaces of 15 so that I can insta proc. Then again, Glowing Crown would have done the trick. <laughs> that would have used up mana. I'm going to get this next round. Oh, yes, yeah, since I asked about the goobers, really? Fuck. God dang it. What are those mini goobers? I'll show you. They're, they're really cool. I'll show you after this game, though. Oh, we didn't kill them. Um, we didn't. Oh, it's because we didn't proc. <laughs> it's because we didn't proc. Yeah, we didn't get 15. Okay, yeah, I'm just going to buy this. Just so we can have something that uses mana at the start of the game. And that should pretty much kill anybody kind of looking for something to take up this spot pretty sure i passed something to take up this spot. oh oh buddy oh pal do i need you why don't i upgrade for a lucky pig it's because i have freaking piggy pinata and i want this to explode the pigs to give me more economy but it never did unfortunately i mean it did it did it like a couple of times, but not, you know, not as much as I wanted it to. To the H. I'm just going to put this anywhere. <laughs> what? You were talking about the goobers. I was going to tell you more about the goobers after this game because they do a lot. All right, do we have 15? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We do. I'm going to sell that, though. I kind of want this blood amulet, but I have, like, nowhere to put it for real. Except down here. I mean, I could sell this for it. It's more vampirism at the start of the game. Versus the increase in healing. The increase in healing doesn't really do additional damage, right? The additional damage just comes from, like... The life steal. I mean, we gain more health when we steal the life, but we don't do more damage from the life steal, right? So it's probably just beneficial just to sell this guy and get this instead. 
just for the extra vamp. It kind of sucks that this blood harvester isn't affecting this prismatic orb because that'd be a 14. That would be 14 vampirism instead. Damn, I should really just move this down by one. Let's do that. And that way they're all affected. Or I can move you up. Put this back. Let's see, because that's four, four, five. I put this here. And that's five, six, and six. That's just more vampirism. It's just more. Yeah. We're going to keep it like this. You definitely should have upgraded both pigs, to be honest. Does the skill break lucky pigs? No, it doesn't break lucky. I don't think it breaks lucky pigs. But the reason why the skill wasn't working is because it's bugged. And it was bugged for like five of my rounds. You have to like click an ability for it to work. I think there's a bug. Like, for example, I don't know if you guys could have heard me when I said this, but the acorn collars that I have are affected by acorn ace, right? So if I place this down, it's not affected by acorn ace because I don't have this in my backpack. I place this down. Now it's affected by acorn ace. You can see by the increase in size, but I still have this acorn here. If I place this acorn down, this acorn is not affected by acorn ace. Even though it's in my backpack, it's still not affected. And I think the same thing happens for pretty much every single skill. And I think that's why my lucky pigs haven't been popping for the last six rounds. is because of this bug and I didn't know it. And you really can't know it unless you have like this skill or any other skill that like shows an increase and star slots or like stats or anything like that this might be the only skill that shows an increase in star slots i'm not even gonna lie but yeah you see how it's just not affected and for me to fix this i pretty much just have to click this and put it back down and now it's affected again and i think that's pretty much what happened with my um my what you call it my piggies so sag but yeah i don't know where to put this uh I really don't know where to put this. I'm just gonna put it here. But I think I, I think getting the skill was way better. <laughs> the piggy skill versus upgrading the pigs, I think, is just better. Cause you get so much economy when the pigs break. So much. What is this guy doing? This looks like an infinite vamp build. Um, he's not insta proccing this heart, which is good. Because that means more maximum health for us to get through. But he does have investment opportunity. I'm pretty sure we're going to kill. Oh, this is rehearted. <laughs> it's rehearted. Get wrecked. <laughs> Hold up. Nah, rehearted cooks sometimes. I got to look at this build a little bit more carefully and see what he cooked up. It just looks like a bloodthorn, like an infinite vampirism bloodthorn build. That's all I'm looking at right now. He's got the regeneration at the start. He's got two blood amulets, so he's starting off with two vampirism. He's got this for the two clovers. He's got one healing herb, so he's starting off with one healing herb. Ooh, now nah, he's gets uh, he's just vampirism from this too. So he's starting off with what two, four, uh, four, five, six, seven. He's starting off with seven vamp and a little bit of regen. So he's getting infinite vampirism. Basically, his only clover generation is these two totes, though. Which is definitely not going to be enough clover generation for this many misfortunes. But he's got Mr. Struggles here. Dark Ritual here. Dark Ritual wasn't a bad choice, considering, you, you know, all these items are a bunch of dark items. Mega Vamp. Now nah, we should win because we, we insta-kill. Pretty sure. Oh, we don't insta-kill. We don't. Oh, that might be an issue. That might be a problem. But then again, I mean, we do have Ambulance of Alchemy. We do have these. So it's going to pro all these are going to proc 70% chance for all these to proc again. Right? So that's pretty scary. I wonder why we didn't insta kill, though. Boom! Second, second bomb wave. <laughs> Gotta love Ambulance of Alchemy with this. If you don't kill in the first like freaking bomb you just second bomb you do it's kind of crazy 50 vampirism as well 
I w I'm very surprised we didn't insta kill though. That's kind of with this many mana potions and triple mana thirst with a blood harvester. We didn't insta kill. I mean, he does have 50% reduction damage though. To be fair, he's got double Kappa Rezil. To be fair, I'm gonna blame it on that. I'm gonna blame it on the 50% reduction in damage. Yeah, I'm gonna blame it on the 50% reduction damage. <laughs> that did a lot of damage though. We took away what, like half of his health? Yeah, took away half of his health. And then they just started hitting for 60 damage each. Jeez. And these are hitting for 29, 50. 29, 50, and 50. Crazy. <laughs> Those vampiric amulets really should be in the scythe? Where? Which is plus six damage per 10 mana with three mana thirst. More with prismatics. I don't know how. Well, I mean, I guess we really didn't need the acorn. Nah, the acorn collar is the crit though. So we need the acorn collar to be there. The only other solution would be to move uh, the mana thirst. These two mana thirst, just move those down by one. And put the two acorn or put the two blood amulets here. Move the entire board up by one. Move these two down. And blood amulets go right into those two star slots. I don't think that would have affected much of anything. As far as like placement wise. Yeah, so we, yeah, that's true. We could have done that. Yeah, we could have done that. Yeah. But I mean, that would have given us, what, like four more? Because two from that, two from that. Would have given us four more vamp. Instead of 50, we would have 54. Not that big of a difference. 